click on the model link, you should see a screen that looks like this that has um, a graph here in the middle that's got different uh, pages you can toggle back and forth between. There's page one. And then some controls for our model, including the albedo up here, the ocean depth, the emissivity, the initial temperature, and we can change the solar constant here if we want to. So first, I just, I'm going to run the model and just talk about what we see. So you click the Run button here and wait for it to execute. And then when it's done, it'll display the results of this model run, which is going to go for 30 years here in this case. And here it's showing us two parameters. One in um, magenta is the temperature. And it starts off at 0 degrees because we told it to start at 0. And you can see that that temperature drops, and it continues to drop as we move along here, and it ends up kind of flattening off at a temperature of just about minus 18 degrees uh, Celsius, and that's at about 30 years. Notice that when I put the cursor over one of these curves and then click on the, on the uh, mouse button, it'll tell me the, the value of that parameter. So there I can see the temperature at any any time the model run. So here I start off at a temperature of zero and it cooled very quickly to a temperature of minus um, 18. And that's in part because we have the emissivity here set at one. And that means that the planet, uh, this model planet has no greenhouse whatsoever. So this would, is the, the presumed temperature of our planet if we had no greenhouse. There, you know, in this first set of experiments, we're going to have you do a couple of things. One is to change the initial temperature and see to what extent that affects the model's outcome. And then change the albedo up here, and then also change the emiss emissivity. You can change these parameters by doing a couple of things. So I'm just going to change the initial temperature here to, let's see, 20 degrees like that. So I can change it by moving that slider or I can just click here in this box and type in whatever number I want. So now I'm going to change it to 10. So if I do that and then run the model, you can see what happens. It's going to start off at 10 degrees and then it will um, evolve after that starting condition. So here you can see it starts at 10 and it, it drops off as well. You can restore it to the initial value here by clicking that little U. It just undoes that change. And then you can change the emissivity and run it or change the albedo and run it. After you've made these changes to albedo or emissivity, you want to always click that U so you kind of return that value to its starting uh, position. What we're going to do here is to kind of investigate the effects of changing initial temperature, emissivity, and albedo on the performance of this climate model. We want to look at these things one at a time. Okay, So that's it.